Hello, welcome to Power 90 Zone. My name is Pavan Kumar and in this video I will walk you through the certified Cobanet administrator exam with new syllabus. Cloud Native Compute Foundation has recently announced the updates in Cobanet certified Cobanet administrator exam curriculum in effect from September 1st 2020. Another important change is that the duration of exam is reduced from 3 hours to 2 hours. The number of question in the exam pattern has changed from 24 questions to 15 to 20 questions on performance based task so the new questions uh, can be 15 or 20 or in between Now passing marks has also changed from 74% to 66% so if you want to pass then you need to score 66 or above Uh, in uh, in the new syllabus, uh, uh, I'll try to make you understand that what was the old and now what is the new uh, syllabus uh, according to the uh, according to the change of C and C F. So earlier it was scheduling and li application lifecycle management has merged are merged into the workloads and scheduling with weightage of 15 percent, and the similarly logging and monitoring and troubleshooting merged into troubleshooting with 30 percent weightage. and networking and core concept has merged into service and networking with 20% weightage and cluster maintenance and installation configuration uh, merged into cluster architecture installation and configuration with 25% and storage merged into uh, sto uh, i mean uh, um, into the same as storage but the weightage of the exam has changed to 10% uh, what change has uh, been done into the new syllabus is basically they have resolved the security Uh, portions uh, and uh, they dissolved it into the architecture installations and configuration and troubleshootings so this is all about the uh, new syllabus and uh, let in the next chapter I'll I'll show you that how I mean what you need to do and what uh, how you can do the preparation so in the first uh, workloads and the scheduling section with 15% weightage you need to understand the deployments config maps and scaling of the application this uh, the uh, management of the application with uh, create robust self filling application deployments understand the resource limits can affect pod scaling awareness of manifest management and so this is a whole thing about the tooling and managing and deploying the pod the se second is troubleshooting so with 30% the weightage has been increased from previous now you need to uh, troubleshoot the cluster you need to troubleshoot the application and the standard input and output errors troubleshooting of application errors and also troubleshooting of networking which was not before but now you can see this change into the the third one is the cluster architecture installation and configuration where you need to understand the all uh role based and uh, uh uh role based access uh, issue and how you can implement it and here you can also need to understand that how you can do the kubeadm installation uh basic cluster and then uh, high availability kubernetes clusters and all and the next one is the storage where you need to understand each components of the storage like uh, creating vol persistent volume adding volume and uh, creating persistent volume claim and so this and how you can configure this volume into the application so that all you need to know here and the last one is services and networking so here you need to understand the network part and the connectivity between pods and the cluster how you can configure cluster network ip node port cluster i mean all services types and endpoints and uh, then you also need to understand the ingress controller and uh, there you need to understand the networking of i mean core dns and the network part of the services so this is all about the uh, new change and what you need to read uh, uh, in in between in in all sections in my in my next video I, i'm going to show you that how you can read all this so that you can practice better and there is one more thing that in my last video i've also said to you that the you can open kubernet um, uh kubernetes uh, documentation page uh, i i want uh, i i also told you that you need to be in habit of opening those uh, documentation page and searching whatever you need to know know or implement so uh, so during the exam you can open that uh, new new into the new tab and you can uh, uh, you can take the reference of the documentation page and you can uh, pass your exam 
So in, in my next video, I'm going to show you that how you can use Kubernetes docs page, uh, documentation page of Kubernetes and then you can, how you can, uh, go through all these sections and how you can search it and how you can explain, uh, how you can practice. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.